Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're taking a look at how to move things to the foreground. Um, for instance, I've got my Times Square picture, which in the previous episode, uh, the Transform Tools, we showed you how to create pictures, drop them in here, resize them using a variety of Transform Tools. Um, if you're uh, a little bit shaky on that, using Distort, Skew, and Warp, um, I'd highly recommend that. Otherwise, at this point, in our example that we have here, I have a picture that has now been dropped over the top, and I'll scroll over here so we can see it and work on this. Um, we've got the Aaron Rodgers picture for the Green Bay Packers uh, sitting over the top now of the original. And uh, we want to take that traffic light bar that's in the background now and bring it back to the foreground so it looks like this picture was originally there to begin with. Um, and a couple ways to go about this. Um, one strategy, erase. Another strategy to copy and paste. And then the last strategy is to actually mask. So I'm going to go through each of those very quickly here. Um, to begin with, I'm just going to go Command J on my layer here. And I'm going to add a couple copies of Aaron Rodgers for each of the examples I'm going to show. Let's start with the erasing technique. To begin with, I'm going to make a selection of what I want to actually erase from the picture. So I'm going to literally erase the picture in the spots that I want to show through. So I've got my polygonal lasso. I'm going to lower down the opacity so I can actually see what's going on behind here. All right, And now I'm just going to make a selection along here very carefully. Make sure I'm nice and close so I'm not getting anything extra because the original picture was kind of a bright image that was in there. And I'm just going to come out to the edge just past the picture. I'm going to select all this in here. Now we got a few extra things going on here. We'll kind of work our way around that. There we go, and we're out far enough. And now I connect it up, and I've made my selection here. Now I am on the layer of Aaron Rodgers here, and I'm going to erase that segment out of here. Now the beauty of the selection that I just made is when I go to erase, it's only going to erase that part. And you can see that just wipe right off of there. Now let's go ahead and put the opacity back up 100%, make sure it looks good. I'm going to deselect what I selected there. And there we have it. So now that picture, let's go ahead and zoom out. Hey, look at that. So we've got that back into the foreground. So a quick, easy fix, that's one strategy using the eraser. Okay, another strategy that we can use, let's go ahead and zoom back in here. Mouse over, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball that layer off and make the next one visible. And you can see we're back to the same problem. Now this time around, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a copy and paste. So I don't wanna be on the Aaron Rodgers uh, layer necessarily. I wanna be on the layer that's behind it. I'm still going to take the opacity of the Aaron Rodgers layer and I'm going to lower it down so I can see exactly what part I have to copy and paste, which is our next strategy. So let's go to the bottom layer and I'm going to make my selection very quickly here. And it helps if I'm on the polygonal lasso there and make my selection. And you can use whatever selection tool you want here. It doesn't really matter. I know everyone has their preferences. This is quicker and easier for me right now. And I go ahead and select that. And I'm kind of rushing through this here. So it's not perfect, but should work for our demonstration. And I connect it up. Now, double check that I'm on the bottom layer here, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a Command C. And I just copy that segment right there. Okay, And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Okay, just above the Aaron Rodgers picture. And I'm going to go Command V and paste that segment on there. And you can see what happened there. I'll Command Z it. And here it is. I'm pasting it on. Voila, covers it right up there. Now I can go back to the Aaron Rodgers one, put the opacity back up, and there we are. That was yet another strategy here. So in the first one, we erased. In this one, we copy and paste. Okay, and for the final strategy here, I'm going to put... Uh, Aaron Rodgers picture back up to full opacity here. And you see that it's still covering. We're going to create a layer mask. The layer mask is going to allow us to remove portions of the picture without being as destructive as the eraser. It'll cover them, but it won't necessarily remove them permanently. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and add on the mask here. I'm going to click on the layer mask down at the bottom here. Now we've worked with adjustment layers. Um, now we're going to work with the layer mask. I select that. And if I take a look at my layer now here, you can see what's going on. It's added this mask on there. 
only to the Aaron Rodgers layer. Okay. Now I'm going to make use of this mask to reveal the portions below that I want. Uh, first things first, over on the right side, I'm going to select the brush tool, and I'm going to double check that my foreground color is black, which I believe by default it shows up that. If it shows up white, just change it to black here, and then we will be set to go. Now, to show you how this works, if I start painting over this, like so, it's creating a mask for that area. Now if I zoom back into my layer, you can see it's really, really small here, of course, but you can see that part is showing up as the mask. Okay, So it's unmasking the part of the picture that I want to show that's below it. Okay, Now obviously a more, um, more precise way of doing all this is to go ahead, uh, let me throw my layer mask back on there, and I'm going to grab my selection tool here, and I'm going to select around that segment and I'm doing this really quickly just to, so you don't have to see me select this all again obviously I would lower the opacity and go through all those steps and make sure that it's all good there I'm gonna connect it up now with the paintbrush tool I can go in here and I can cleanly do my layer mask here and I'm revealing everything that was below it so same exact idea as the eraser except Here's the part that I like. If this is messed up or something changes and I decide that I want to change it back, I can always come back over to the mask and I can, one, disable it. So I can go back to originally what it looked like and I've got this red X that's over here now. Okay, So I disabled the mask or I can altogether right click on it and I can delete the layer mask and we are back to square one where the picture is there. So it's great if you're making mistakes, um, you think you might be changing things up in the future. A mask is pretty easy to use. The only unfortunate thing about a mask is if I go back to having that mask on there um, and uh, step backwards here. I got the mask on there. If I take this picture and I move it, you can see now that mask is permanently on the picture in that position. So... You know, I still have that difficulty with that situation. But three different strategies to bring things to the foreground. Um, pick which one works the best for you in your situation, whether it's the eraser, the copy and paste, or the masking tool. Uh, thanks again for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.